to another video. Today we will be doing another one of one paper playing from the book. And this one, as you can see, has a totally unique wing shape. And as you see, this is how it looks like with the <coughs> template. And as you can see, this plane is on the cover, the smallest plane on the cover. F80 Centurion's on the, the biggest on the cover, as you can see. Wait a sec, I have the Fadis and Trey on right here. Here, wait a sec. You see, I have it right here, which I taught you how to make already. And as you can see, how cool it looks. That's just the book from the cover. Just That's just the plane on the cover. But today, I'm going to show you how to make Swallow, an amazing paper airplane. I, and this plane doesn't have a really good amount of glide, glide ratio or range like the other paper airplanes in the book. Let's say like F-80 Centurion, it can fly really far. But this one, this is a glider with swept back wings. And this is why it's called Swallow. Swallow is like this bird that like when it has swept back wings and then it, and it ducks and dives and bobs and weaves. That's what this plane does. So that is really cool about this plane. And I'm about to sh show you how to make it. So all you need, in, and as you can see, this is from the book. So all you will need in order to fold this plane is an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper. And we will begin by folding, <coughs> the, having a vertical, you will fold it from the top edge to the bottom edge. Now this will be the center crease for our plane. And just and, ma and ma really make sure that everything's lined up, or else your plane won't fly well at the end. And now you will fold this edge. Here, here's how I exactly estimate this. Way. First, we fold down until it catches over here, right? And you see, like we fold it until it catches right here, and then we will swing it, swing it until it forms a point right here and there's only crease that can go from this point to this point wait a second I made a mistake right there and just and you have to really make sure that it won't tear over here because if you pull it too hard then it will tear over there so we're done with one side now we will flip it over and even if this side was not, the other side was not perfect we still have to do the same thing we have to match it because I demand symmetry over perfection. Okay. And now what we will do is unfold the, unfold everything. So the mount so the center crease is a valley. And these parts are a mountain. Oh as you can see I no I didn't tear over there. Now we will fold it in half from top to bottom, having it vertically. But what we will do is just make a pinch crease in the middle, just like what we did in Saber. Just pinch crease right there in the middle. And then what we will do is fold the top to over here, the top to the pinch crease that we made. And again, we're just making a pinch crease. Like that. Now we have two pinch creases. So what we'll do with those two pinch creases, we're going to do it later. So now what we'll do is <coughs> fold this edge to the center crease. And just make a pinch crease over here. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. Just making a pinch crease right here. And now what we will do is fold this edge again to that pinch crease we made. I know this is a lot of pinch creases. This is just what we're about to do, like we're gonna collapse this whole paper. And then we did it on the other side. Now this is now what we're gonna do is <coughs> turn the paper over. So the center is a valley, it's a, so the center is a mountain. The outer diagonal creases are a mountain. And what we will do here is fold the paper 
so so it starts from so uh, it starts from this crease here and then it intersects this pinch crease here like that and then it should go like that open it then you have a side parallel to this side here and now you'll do the same thing on this other side and now we'll unfold it and now you see we have the two parallel creases what we're about to do is flip it over so that the center is a, is a valley and what we'll do is a gather fold we'll just gather this section here and pull it to that other section over there the other crease the one that's parallel which is going to create a valley crease in the middle okay now it should look like this now you're gonna unfold it and as you can see it creates a valley crease in the middle we're gonna do the same thing on the other side now we have three sets of parallel lines now you see we have it like that now we will flip it over and now here's the tricky part what we will do what we need it for the center to be a mountain right but here's the trick here this part should be a mountain this part should be a mountain but this section over here should be a valley so that's what i just did now i just turned it into a valley so now what we're gonna do is collapse this whole thing if you have it like this you see if you have it like this with all the creases in ori orientation, we can just swing the sides in like so. Swing the sides in, allowing a peak to form in the center. Like that. Now what we'll do is pick the paper up and flatten it. Okay, so now that's what we've done. Here, here, so now we are gonna turn the paper into this orientation here, and then we will fold, we will fold this down as a hinge using this part here, like that. Now you can see, when you flip it over, you see it looks like this now. So you see we have this, uh, then with the pocket inside, we will just crease it on the other side and then stand it up. Now, this is a similar step to F80 Centurion. We are going to, and Strider, we're going to open up the pocket and then push it down like so. And now, we will flatten it like this. As you can see, this is a very similar step to F80 Centurion and uh, Strider. <coughs> now you see we have it like this, this orientation. Now, look, so you see, this is going to be the top. We already have the swept back wings. You see the swept back wings over here? That's what we just created. <coughs> so now what we're going to do is rotate the paper. 180 degrees and then fold this upper part down to this part here upper part down to the uh, no, sorry fold the upper part down to this to the end of the triangle right there like that and now you can see we have it like this like like this on one side and like this on the other side okay now what we'll do is fold this edge into the center crease but try to leave just a little gap right there just a little gap because you know what's gonna happen next time
Actually, you can fold it all the way in, but you know, it's your choice. It's optional. You can just leave a gap or just fold it in. Now we have it like this. And as you can see, if you flip it over, we really have the plane coming into shape right now. What the, um, one of the trickiest steps is we have to lock this thing together. As you can see, it locks in a three-dimensional shape. As you can see, I'm pulling it hard, but it doesn't want to unfold. And now what we'll do is unfold both of them. And then fold these two and fold this edge into the crease that we just made, but leaving a little gap. Just a little gap right there. And do the same thing on the other side. And now, what we'll, so as you see, if we fold both of them in, it'll look good. We already have the shape of the plane, but we need to fold them in again. So here, we'll fold this edge in, again leaving a little gap because, as you can see, the layers are really getting thick now. We'll do the same thing on the other side, like that. And then now, we're going to finally fold them in. Like that. Now what we will do is fold this edge down as much as it can go because there's this thick part right under there, the invisible thick part right here that you can feel. You can fold it easily. And now we will unfold that and then fold it in half like that and then we will as you can see we're gonna stand this flap and then push it down like that we're gonna squash fold it now this is the step that diverges if you're using thick paper then follow me if you're using 20 pound paper or thinner you can do you can do this if you're using thinner paper than 24 pounds so you can just fold this part down and then turn this to the other side, which will eventually tear with right with a thick paper. The paper I'm not using is not thick. I'm using is not thick. So here, if you have thick paper, this is what you will do. You kind of you see we have these two pockets here. They're very small. As you can see, we have two pockets here. And then we will and then we will flatten it open them and then flatten it like this and and remember you see we're opening these two pockets and then flattening it and this and this lock is called the taco I forgot his name it's a kind of lock so you can just fold this down with thinner paper or open it up and then open these two and then flatten it like that. I'm gonna just use this the comp more complicated way. And then we will mount and fold it to the other side. And now, here, here's the next step. We will fold it down from, you see? We'll fold from uh, here. You see, we're folding from here until it intersects with this point here, down here. I know that's a little confusing to do, but just follow me. I just going like this, and then you flatten it. I know that's a very tricky step because of how thick it is. Now we will do the same exact thing on the other side, and then when we open it up, you see we have a finished swallow. But we right now what we need to do is fold the winglets. If you're using the template, it's easy. You can just follow the, the green part right there. But with the regular paper, it's more complicated. So here, what we're going to do is fold this part in as like, look at, look at me. I'm folding it like uh, one inch, oh, a half of an inch, about a half of an inch, a half and a quarter of an inch. 
and do the same thing on the other side. I have to record an inch. Ah, I know that doesn't make any sense, but that's all I can explain. Sorry. And now we will open both of them up. Set the plan like this. Flatten everything. And then here you go. You have a finished swirl. And now what you need to do is the flight. The flight. I know. As you can see, it now locks in a three-dimensional shape. It doesn't want to unfold. But here what we want but what we want to do now is if it's diving, right? You just need to add up elevator on these parts. And then it can nose up instead of diving down and crashing. And another thing is this plane has some asymmetry in here. So what you can if it's rolling like this, you can just if it's rolling to the right put an elevator to the left like this without putting it on the right but if it's spinning the left way you have to bend up with the right so there you have it and so when it when it flies you have to sit uh, you have to set them in this angle where the wings are all flat as you can see flat no, no up no anhedral or dihedral have them flat and then we and then you're all good hopefully you guys enjoyed making this plane i know it's fairly difficult to fold but it's an amazing plane and uh it can it has this tendency to duck and dive bob and weave like that and it's from the book hopefully i'll teach some more paper airplanes from this book Now, see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.